Father, in the Lord, Apostle Albert Obadi to come and minister to us. Let the Lord allow him to use it. I, I don't always talk much about my husband, but you know, two two men, you know, they surprised us in a in a in UK. Men of God, they just they came, you know, um, Bishop Salve, and she came to them. You see, I have met human beings, I have met ministers, but I have never met one that have your kind of spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he was he, he is a bishop. He's a man of God. See, I have met people. I have interacted with people, but I have not met people. Somebody, a man of God, that have your kind of spirit. There is nothing, you know. In, there is no dent in it. It's just so pure and so, you know. He was talking to a man like him, you know. And he spent so much time talking. And then John the Lord, an um, elder. You know, um, um, he said, oh, John Overseer in UK, he came to, he said, ah, there is something about him, you know, that I like. He said, are you an American? He said, no, I'm not American. <laughs> you know, he doesn't, but then he said, there is something about you that you just so sweet. That he has always wanted to tell him, maybe each time he comes to open there. But I want us to celebrate the gift we have. Because that is a great gift. It's, a, it's not a gift to find anywhere. And I'm telling you the truth. And we are so honored to have him. And receive the word of God. And the Lord bless you. Let's just worship him. Hallelujah. Let's just worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the bright and morning star the ancient of days, the creator of heavens and earth. Let's just worship him this morning. For he's the great God. There's none to be compared with him. There's none like you, Lord. We Thank praise you, you. We honor you. Thank we you bless Jesus. you, Father. Lord, Thank we you give Jesus. you all the glory. You, for there's none to be compared with oh, none like you, Lord. Lord. We give you oh, all the glory. We bless you, Father. In we honor you. We say, Lord, God Almighty, Lord, be you, Lord, thou exalted, Lord. Oh, be magnified, O Lord. Be magnified. We give you praise, O Lord. Lord, God Almighty, we praise you. You that rule in the affairs of all men, O Lord. We praise you. We honor you, O Lord. Hey, Lord, you that give us life, O Lord. You that hold, Lord, the universe, O Lord, in place, O Lord. We praise you. We honor you, O Lord. We bless you, Father. We give you all the glory. We say, be thou. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glorious God. Beautiful King. Excellent God. We bow before your throne. Oh, 
together for the Lord, for all the pastors in the house, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, they are doing a great work, and the Lord bless them, and continue to increase them in the mighty name of Jesus, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, amen, praise God, and I want us to put together our hands together for all the evangelists in the house, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Lord, we continue to grant you wisdom and increase you in the mighty name of Jesus. To all the ministers in the house, let's put our hands together for the Lord. They are doing a great work. The Lord will continue to strengthen you on all sides in the name of Jesus. To every worker in the house, the Lord bless you. As you do his work, the Lord will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every department, I would say well done. And the Lord is watching you. He will definitely reward you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And my wonderful wife is in the house. I want to say I love you and praise the Lord concerning you. Praise the name of the Lord. I praise God for just even making me encounter you. It's, it's, it's just a great blessing. And I, I thank God for your life and the Lord will continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, sometimes I just, you know, sit down and think, and I say, if I didn't meet my wife, where would I be? You know, I would, I would just continue to think, how would my life, how would it have been? But I just thank God, you know, that 
I encountered her, which was a divine encounter in my life. Praise the name of the Lord. And I thank the Lord for using her to, you know, to, to just bless me spiritually. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, and I, 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 once again, I say I love you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning, we're just going to be looking at something I want to talk about. You know, the theme for this year, we're talking about His presence. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, His presence is going to make, you know, this year a journey that is going to be easy and light for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And there are some things that God wants to do uh, while He's with us this year. Praise the name of the Lord. While He's with us, He wants to do something in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is one of the things that we're going to be looking at today. I just want us to open to Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. We are going to start from verse 30. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 30. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. It says, but those who wait on the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. Those who what? Wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not what? Be weary. They shall walk and not what? Faint. Praise the name of the Lord. So as we wait in the presence of the Lord this year, God says, I want to do something to you. Praise the name of the Lord. As we wait in the presence of God, God has promised and says, He says, I will what? Carry you this year. He says, this year, I will what? Carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. Even though He says what? He says He will renew our strength. But the one I am going to what? Hammer on today, He says, they shall what? Mount up with what wings like what eagles. So this year you are going to mount up with wings like what eagles. Because God is going to carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. God is going to carry you throughout this year. Praise the name of the Lord. This year I say you will soar this year in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God is going to carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I put it as say we can never get to an age where we don't need God to carry us. There's no age that we can get to. That we say, okay, God, I don't need you to carry me again. There's no age. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no position that you can get to in this world. That what you say, hey, this is the time. I don't need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Wherever you are, whichever office you are in, whatever job you are doing, whatever career you have, whatever you are doing as a student, there's no way that you don't need God to carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Even the most anointed still needs God to what? To carry them. Praise the name of the Lord. Even the most anointed still needs what? God to what? To carry them. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no journey that you can be going on. That you say, Lord, I don't need you to carry me on this journey. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter what journey you are going on, it is God that carries you. Praise the name of the Lord. 
It is God that carries you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why today I want to just look into God saying that I will what? Carry you. He says I will what? Carry you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. And if we want to understand things about what? About carrying. The best place to look at is for to look at how we carry our children. Praise the name of the Lord. When we carry our children, what does it do to us? What does it do to the child? Then you won't understand when God says, I want to what? Carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. He just doesn't want to carry you for carrying sake. He has a reason why he wants to carry you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. He has a reason why he wants to carry you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. And let's just have a few, look at a few things that happen when God carries us. Praise the name of the Lord. When he carries us. Praise the name of the Lord. The first thing about our children is that when we carry them, we carry them for number one reason is what's to comfort them. Praise the name of the Lord. When a child is crying, there's either something is wrong with the child. You know, when a child begins to cry, the best way to what to bring that child to normalcy is what to carry them to what comfort them. Praise the name of the Lord. And this year, God says, I'm going to carry you in that way that I will comfort you this year. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no child that when you carry, when the mother comes and carries that child, no matter what is wrong, whether the papa is wet or something, no matter what has happened to that child, when he feels the comfort of the mother, he wants, he quiets us. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what God wants to do today. He says, I'm going to carry you and comfort you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter what the situation might be, no matter what is troubling you under, he says, when I carry you this year, you will be comforted. Praise the name of the Lord. He says what? You will be what? Comforted in the name of Jesus. Let's look at the scripture here. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's quickly go to that scripture. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, I want to comfort you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. It says, this year, I'm carrying you to comfort you. Just as the mother carries the child to comfort the child. He says, this year I'm carrying you to comfort you. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of mercies and God of what? All comfort. Hallelujah. There's no amount of comfort that you need this year that God cannot give you. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I am going to carry you, the God of all comfort. He says, I will carry you this year. And I will comfort you on every side. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I will comfort you on every side. Go on. He says, who comforts us in all tribulation, in all tribulation, in all trials, in every situation. He is there standing up. He says, this year I'm going to lift you up. As those trials come, as those tribulations come, I'm going to lift you up and I'll comfort you. He says, comfort us in all our traditions, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble. Praise the name of the Lord. Why is God comforting you? Because this year you will be a comforter also. When God comforts you this year, you will be able to comfort others. Praise the name of the Lord. Not when people come with their own trouble. You say, ha, ah, what is all? No, you'll be able to comfort them also. Praise the name of the Lord. Who are in any trouble with the comfort which we ourselves are comforted by God. Praise the name of the Lord. That means you'll be a transferrer of God's comfort to others today. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I will carry. 
marry you. That is the first thing that, what happens? That's the first thing you think about when it comes to carrying a child. You carry that child to what? To comfort that child. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you look at Psalm, you know, Psalm 23 that we always read, praise the name of the Lord. Verse 4, it says, even though I walk through what? The valley of the shadow of death. I shall what? Fear no evil. Because what? Thy rod and thy staff. They what? They comfort me. That means the rod and the staff of God is going to comfort you this year. As he's carrying you, he has his rod in his hand. And he has his staff in his hand to what? To comfort you. Even in the, in the valleys of what? The shadows of death. He said, will comfort you this year. No matter what it is, thy rod and thy staff, they shall comfort me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Another thing why we comfort, why we comfort our children, I mean, why we carry our children, praise the name of the Lord. Why is it, another thing is why? Because we want to move them from where? From this place to what? To that place. Praise the name of the Lord. A baby of what? One month, two months, three months. If you leave him there till tomorrow, he will be there. Praise the name of the Lord. But another reason why we carry them is to carry them from one point to the other. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what God wants to do to, it, to you to, uh, this year. Praise the name of the Lord. He wants to carry you from the level where you are this year, from last year, to a what? another level. Praise the name of the Lord. That's one reason why we carry our children. We carry our children to move them from one place what to another. Because at a point in time, children, they cannot walk. They cannot move around. Praise the name of the Lord. It is until they begin to crawl that they begin to move around. But to transport themselves while they are still young, they need somebody to carry them. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why I say there is no age that you can reach that you say, God, I don't need you to carry me. Praise the name of the Lord. From the baby that you are, right up to old age, you are still depending on God what to carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. And God says, I will carry you because I am moving you from one level to another level this year. Praise the name of the Lord. I am moving you from one level to another this year. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what the Lord is saying. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To a higher level. That is where he's moving you. To a higher level. A higher level this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Another reason why God, I mean why we carry our children. Praise the name of the Lord. Is we want to what? Get close to our children. We want to bond with our children. Praise the name of the Lord. God wants to, he wants to know you. He, he wants you to be closer to him this year. He wants you to be closer to him this year. That's why he's going to carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. You will feel the presence of God this year in your life. You will feel his presence. Because he's going to carry you. He's going to be carrying you. You know, one thing about a child is that if a child misses that bond between the father, mother, or within the parents, it, the child will definitely have some issues. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you will see when a mother carries a child, you know, you see the child. I was just looking at, I think it was, I don't know if it was a movie or something, but there was this child the mother was carrying. And the mother was looking somewhere else. But the child was trying to just look at her eyes. Was just gazing up at her eyes. That is what the child wants. He wants to always bond with the parents. So when he looks into the eyes of the child, it's so important that we look into I mean, especially when they are small, we look into their eyes because they desire that. They desire that from the mother. They desire that from the father. To bond. Why are they looking? To bond themselves so that they can know you they recognize you and know and even hear when you when they hear your voice you they know it's you praise the name of the lord but that's 
what God wants to do with us this year. He says, I want to carry you so that we can bond together this year. We can walk together this year. Praise the name of the Lord. We can get close together this year. Praise the name of the Lord. And the closer we are to God, the more blessings we receive from him. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I want to carry you because I want to bond with you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why he said of David, he says, Ha! David said, this man is a man that I love so much because what? He's a man what after my heart. David was, he was not after any other thing. He was after God. Even though he made mistakes, but his life was totally yielded to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Same thing with Daniel, Shadrach, and Abednego. That is why God would do special miracles in their lives. Because they were bonded to God. They were close to God. Daniel could not give up his praying life. No matter what. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they saw the fire, but they said, no, we will not deny God. That's how close they were to God. That's how bonded they were to God. They could not deny God. Praise the name of the Lord. They could not deny him. And God wants to carry you this year because he wants to draw you closer to him. Praise the name of the Lord. The closer you get, the more of his secrets you get to know. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So that means you will, this year you will enjoy what, an intimate what relationship with the Lord. Because he's going to carry you. He's going to carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. It says you will mount up with wings like that of eagles. Praise the name of the Lord. It's going to make you fly this year in the name of Jesus. Number four. Is it number four now? Yes. Praise God. Yes. Number four. He says, why do we carry our children also? Praise the name of the Lord. We carry them to play with them, isn't it? Praise the name of the Lord. Carry them to what? To play with them. Sometimes when a child is just there, I used to remember when the children were so young, I used to carry them, throw them up high into the air, and you catch them. When you do that to a child, there's no child that won't begin to laugh. Praise the name of the Lord. You, they, 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 are, they begin to laugh because it causes excitement in them. Praise the name of the Lord. And God is going to get you excited this year. Praise the name of the Lord. He says it's going to get you excited this year. It's going to give you joy that is full this year. Joy that is full. Praise the name of the Lord. He says in the presence of the Lord is what? There's the fullness of joy. And that joy is going to be released into your life this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's why he wants to carry you this year. He will carry you, he will throw you up. Praise the name of the Lord. But you can be sure that God will catch you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He will play with you this year. He will, he, will, he will celebrate with you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why we carry our children. Carry them up. We throw them up. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Carry them up and we throw, we throw them up. Just to get excited. And that means somebody's going to get excited this year. By the power of his presence. In the name of Jesus. Fullness of joy, happiness, gladness. The oil of gladness will be poured upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There are so many ways that what we can carry our children. So many ways. But God has a way of carrying his own children. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why we read that first uh, uh, um, part, that first uh, chapter of Isaiah. I mean, the... Isaiah chapter 40, praise the name of the Lord. But let's see the way God carries his own children. Let's see how he carries them. Praise the name of the Lord. It's related to what we have read. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 4. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 4. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 4. That is how God carries his own children. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, you have seen to the Egyptians. Hallelujah. He was telling the children of Israel. He says, you have seen what I, have, what I did to what the Egyptians. And how I bore you what? On eagle's wings and brought you what? Out myself. Praise the name of the Lord. And how I bore you on what? 
eagle's wings. Praise the name of the Lord. That's how he carried his children out of what? Egypt. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I bore them what? On eagle's wings. That means this year, you are going to develop wings like that of an eagle. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. That is why you will be soaring because God is just going to be carrying you. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I bore you what? On eagle's wings. Myself, I bore you on eagle's wings. And I brought you out of what? Egypt. Praise the name of the Lord. Those wings are going to cause you to come out of every trouble. Out of every despair. Out of every kind of situation. Out of every trial. And out of every tribulation. You will not be stuck in every any trouble. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God will give you wings to come out. And to carry you out of that trouble. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bears us on what eagle's wings. Mount us up on what eagle's wings. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this year, as I say, you will soar over every trouble, over every trial, over every tribulation, over every pain, you will soar, you will soar in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And when God carries you, there are some things that happen. That's what we are going to look at today. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at a few things that happen. When the Lord carries us, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Lord carries you, we go back to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. He says, weariness goes. Weariness it goes. Praise the name of the Lord. You will not be weary. You will not be tired when God is carrying you. Because you are not using your own strength. You are not using your own strength. That is why the children of Israel were able to wander 40 years, 40 nights. I mean 40 years. They were wandering in the desert. Yet they did not grow tired. They did not grow weary. Because God was the one carrying them. He says, I mount them up on what eagle's wings. Praise the name of the Lord. And I brought them out of Egypt. So you don't grow weary when the Lord carries you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you seen a child that you are carrying and he says, I'm tired? No. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you are not the one walking. Praise the name of the Lord. It's the one that is carrying you, carrying you, that bears the Lord, that bears everything. Praise the name of the Lord. So every weariness disappears. Praise the name of the Lord. Every weariness what disappears. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 103, verse 5. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 103, verse 5. Hallelujah. Weariness, it goes. He says, who satisfies what? Your mouth with what? With good things so that your youth, what? Is renewed, what? Like an ego. Praise the name of the Lord. What is it that you are going to be looking for this year that God cannot satisfy you with? That God cannot give to you? Praise the name of the Lord. There is nothing that we, uh, can, God cannot give, you, give to you. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why you should not be weary. You should not let anything weigh you down. Because God is able. The Bible says with him, all things are what? Possible. All things are possible. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two thing is that when God carries you, he says he will mount you up on wings like that of an eagle. If you look at the eye of the eagle, the eye of the eagle, the by, I mean, I read it, it says sometimes you can see three miles. Do you know how long three miles is? Yet the eagle will see it. Three miles it will see. It will see. That means when God carries you this year, you will have what a clear vision of what you want to do. Nothing will be uh, confusing to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when the eagle spots his target, when he spots what he wants to get as food, it goes straight and it doesn't miss. Praise the name of the Lord. And the higher you are, 
the clearer vision you have. Praise the name of the Lord. Have you noticed it? The higher you go, if you are in a plane especially, when you go up in the plane, then you see, ah, this, this looks like that estate. That, ah, this is how my estate looks. You have a clearer vision of all things. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's what God wants to do with you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what's going to happen this year. You will have a clearer vision about your career, about your business, about everything, about your education, about everything that you want to do. You will have what a clearer vision because you are on top. You are on top. You are able to see what is happening. From afar, you are able to see your enemies. Praise the name of the Lord. You are able to defeat them even before they even plan against you. Praise the name of the Lord. A clearer vision. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Job chapter, uh, Job chapter 39. Job chapter 39 and verse 27 and to 29. Job 39. Job 39. 27 to 29. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, Job 39, 27. It says, Does the eagle mount up at your command and make its nest on high? Praise the name. On the rocks it dwells and resides. On the crag of the rock and the stronghold. 29. It says, For there it, there, for there it spies its prey on top. That is why the eagle, he doesn't come to make his nest near the ground. On top. On top. He said, from there, what? It spies out the prey. Its eyes observe from what? Afar. And that means your eyes will observe from afar this year. From afar, you will see what is you need to do. Praise the name of the Lord. From afar, you will see what you need. You will see clearly what God wants you to do. From afar. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at Mark chapter 8, verse 22 to 25. Mark chapter 8, from 22 to 25. Because sometimes we may still have blurred vision. There's something called blurred vision. You, know, you can't really see. You are seeing, but you can't see clearly. But Jesus doesn't want that for anyone in this world that we do not see clearly. He wants us to see clearly. Mark chapter 8, verse 22 to 25. Then he came to Bethsaida, and they brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. Okay? So he took the blind man by the hand and led him out into the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands on him, he asked him if he saw anything. This is Jesus himself now healing someone. He says, and he looked up and said, I see men like trees walking. But that shall, will not be your portion. You won't see men like trees. Praise the name of the Lord. And Jesus said, ah, this one that I've done, you can't see yet. I need you to what? See clearly. Jesus will never leave you half, ha, ha, with half vision. Clear vision is what he wants you to have. Then he put his hands on the eyes of the man again and made him what? Look up. And he was restored and saw everything what? Clearly. Clearly. Praise the name of the Lord. And saw everything clearly. God wants us to see clearly. Clearly. He doesn't want to leave us with half vision. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And your vision will be clear. This year in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Do not fall into any trap of the enemy because you will see it from what? Afar. You will see it from afar. Any plan, every trap of the enemy, you will not fall into it in the name of Jesus. From afar, you will see opportunities. Opportunities that others can't see. When you are high up, you are able to see them. Praise the name of the Lord. Opportunities will come your way. That you'll be able to see from afar and get it, make use of that opportunity before others can see it. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 30, 18 and 19. Proverbs chapter 30, 18 and 19. Amazing and wonderful things happens when God carries you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amazing and wonderful things. They happen when God carries you. He says he brought them out of Egypt. And when he was bringing them out of Egypt, he was not just taking them anywhere, but he was taking them to a place that was, was flowing with what? Milk and honey. Praise the name of the Lord. From the land of the oppressed to what? A land that is flowing what? With milk and honey. Wonderful and amazing things he wants to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Wonderful and amazing things. Psalm 30, uh, Proverbs 30, 18 to 19. He says, there are three things which are too wonderful to me. Solomon was saying that. Praise the name of the Lord. Solomon was saying, he says, there are three things what, which are too wonderful for me. Yes, four, which I do not understand. Four things. Solomon says, I can't understand because they are so amazing. They are so amazing. They are done by God. They are, those things are what? They are so amazing that I can't understand it. Number one, he says, the way of the eagle in the air. The way of the eagle in the air. Solomon says, I cannot understand it. How the eagle can see three miles? How the eagle can see three miles? He says what? I can't understand it. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I can't understand it. Wonderful and amazing things. When God carries you. He says what? The way of the serpent on the rock. How does the snake, how does he climb the rock? He says, I can't understand. The snake that has no legs, no nothing. He says, it still climbs the rock. He says, I can't understand it. It's amazing. The way of the ship in the midst of the sea. The ship, this, the ship will set off from where? From Portsmouth, from Rosler, from, and it still gets to where it is going. Does it have any road? No. But it navigates its way there. Praise the name of the Lord. Amazing things. He says, the way... And what he's talking about here is not the days of these days of what technology. No. Technology has sorted out so many things. But these days were the days where you just see the water. You don't even know what is going on. But yet people navigated. What's the man that, uh, that discovered America? What's it? Is it Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus, yes. He discovered America. He just set out. People who discovered uh, South America, they set out from Spain. And they discovered what South America. Without knowing where they are going. They just set out. Yet they were able to discover. Praise the name of the Lord. Solomon said, I don't know the ways of the ship in the midst of the sea. Praise the name of the Lord. Then the last one. Where's the last one? That last one. He said, the way of a man with what? A virgin. The way of a man. Another one says the way of a man which is uh, made, isn't it? Praise the name of the Lord. The way of a man which is made. He says, I can't understand it. A man that, you know, he, 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 may, he, have, he may have been, um, let's say, you know, he, he may be somebody that doesn't want to, to go out. He was very quiet and everything. Then he meets this lady. And from, he, he cannot rest. From the moment he meets the lady, he can't rest. Praise the name of the Lord. A lot of people change when they meet their, their, their girlfriend or boyfriend. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I can't understand it. That this man that couldn't talk before, now he meets a lady, he turns to talk every day. Praise the name of the Lord. The ways of a man. Amazing things that happen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amazing things. He says, when this year I carry you, amazing things are going to happen in your life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amazing things are going to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the psalmist, they couldn't stop saying of the what amazing things that have happened in their lives. Psalm 126 verse 3. 
Let us see one, Psalm 1 to 6. He says, The Lord has done what great things for us. We are glad. He has done what great things for us. Why? Because he has carried us. Amazing things begin to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. And you will not be short of testimonies this year. Because when those amazing things come, when the Lord carries you, there is no way that you won't be filled with one testimonies because of the amazing wonders of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 118 verse 23. What does he say? He said, this is the Lord's doing. It is what? Marvelous in my sight. Put it up. Psalm 118 verse 3. The psalmist, after everything that you have seen, after all the wonders of God, he says, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in my sight. That is going to be your testimony this year. Hallelujah. This is the Lord's doing. Because what? It is marvelous in my sight. Marvelous things. Wondrous things are, are the things that God are going to, is going to do for you this year as he carries you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 5. Psalm 66 verse 5. Say, come and see the works of the Lord who is awesome in his deeds towards what the sons of men. Come and see the works of the Lord. He is what awesome in his doing towards what the sons of men. Awesome things he will do for you this year. You will have the testimony to say, come and see what God has done. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Come and see what God has done. Because he's the one carrying you through this year. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When he carries you, he also what? Hides you in the rock. Praise the name of the Lord. He hides you in the rock. Remember what he said about the eagle. The eagle goes to the top of the rock. Hides its nest. Hides his nest because he said you will bear wings like that of an eagle. So you will do the things that are eagles do. Praise the name of the Lord. He hides. He hides his nest. And so when God is carrying you this year, he will hide you from every trouble. Praise the name of the Lord. Hide you from every trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm 27 verse 5. Let's put it up. Psalm 27 and verse 5. He will hide you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What does it say there? Psalm 27 verse 5. It says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide in me, what? In his pavilion. The secret place, what? Of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon what? The rock. High upon the rock, you'll be, you'll be set upon the rock. High is your position this year. High is your position this year. Because he wants to what? He wants to set you on high. When he hides you, he doesn't just hide you in a low place. No, he hides you in a high place where the enemy cannot find you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 31 verse 20. Psalm 31 verse 20. Psalm 31 verse 20. It says, you shall hide them in the secret place of what? Your presence. From the plots of man, you shall keep them secretly in what? A pavilion from the strife of tongues. That is where he will hide you. From the strife of tongues. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the, uh, from the what? The strife of what tongues. People won't be able to, to, to find you this year. Amen. Just the way they find you the other, last year. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you are set on high this year. He says you will mount up with wings like that of what? An eagle. God is going to carry you this year. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know the problem is that with with, like just with children, there are some children that you want to carry them, and they do, they refuse. They refuse to, for you to carry them. Praise the name of the Lord. That will not be your portion this year, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because as God stretches out his hand this moment to carry you, you will reach out to him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You will not be like that stubborn child in, in uh, this year, but you will reach out to God's arm 
stretched out. Says, my arms are stretched out to carry you this year because I want to bear you this year. I want to bear you. When you carry, you bear. He wants to bear your burdens, wants to bear your worries, wants to bear everything. For Jesus says what? Cast even your word burdens onto me. Praise them. He says, and I will give you what? Rest. Rest. Praise the name of the Lord. Je Jesus is there. He's ready to bear everything about you this year. Cast every worry onto him. Praise the name of the Lord. Cast every care onto him. Praise the name of the Lord. Every burden shift it to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God will carry you. Tell somebody God will carry you. God will carry you this year. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. in a privileged position of what God is going to do for us. I'm just so excited. I have I have put my hand, my life, everything, say, God, carry. Hallelujah. Everything, in every journey, different journey, just say, carry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you continue to carry on. We are going to take our, uh, let's point to our hands and pray for our daddy. Let's release, even where we study today in First Thessalonians chapter 5, he said, Pray for us. Let's pray for him. That God will give him grace, give him power, give him more, more anointing to continue to minister. It's not, it's, not, it's not cheap to get fresh revelation. It only comes from above. If God doesn't give it to you, you can't get it. Let's just pray that God will sustain you. Father, thank you for your son. Thank you, God Almighty, for speaking to us through him. Thank you, God Almighty, for your anointing and your grace that is upon this life. I pray that you continue to carry him, you continue to show him great and mighty things, exciting things of God begin to happen in his life like he has never seen before. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for so shall you be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're going to take the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a 